Welcome back to The Witcher 3. I was looking over the video that I recorded for the first episode and I noticed that for some reason it seems to be pretty choppy and kind of stuttery. I don't really know why that is because the game is not actually choppy or stuttery for me, but for some reason it seems to show up like that in the recordings that I make in OBS. I really don't know why, so I do apologize for that, but I have no idea how to fix it. I tried a bunch of stuff, borderless windowed, full screen, vsync on, vsync off, stuff like that, and nothing seems to actually fix it. So, sorry about that. Hopefully a fix will come along soon. Alright, so I need to go talk to the Nilf Guardians about Yennefer. But before doing that, I want to explore this place over here that I found. This really cool kind of broken bridge place. Oh, you're about to steal something. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna steal it. Don't worry. Whee! Is this considered stealing? Is anybody watching me? Ooh! Master item. That sounds good. Gonna check the stats on that thing in a second. Piece of armor. Alright, that jump I don't think I can make. I might be a witcher, but I'm not that good. Let's get a better view of things, shall we? Ah, couldn't do that in The Witcher 2. I kind of wish I was using a controller so I can get some really smooth kind of cinematic pans. Unfortunately though with a with a mouse and especially with the hitchiness it just looks like bleh. Damn, I actually took damage from that. All right. Let's see what I got here. Millions and millions of stats. Uh looks like it does more damage though. It says Hold on, shift to compare. Yeah, so it's another steel sword. Weight is a little bit lighter. Condition is not as good. Doesn't seem to be worth as much money. Oh, but it's definitely better. Yeah, the damage is significantly higher, and even the armor piercing is better. I mean, it feels weird to get rid of my Witcher's steel sword, because it's, you know, it's got Witcher in the name. But it does seem to be better in every way. Let's go with it. And let's check out the armor. Hmm. Well, the armor's significantly better. Resistances seem roughly the same. Comparable. Oh, and it's actually a light armor, too, compared to my medium armor that I'm already wearing. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh my god. Okay, I don't like how that looks. That... I mean, it looks fine. There's nothing necessarily wrong with it, but it doesn't look very... witcherly. Eh. Nah, I'm gonna go with the Caremoran armor just for the... just for the aesthetics. I don't give a damn about the stats. I wanna look sexy. Alright, let's see if this sword looks any different. Put it down. Oh, sorry. Essany and Royce. I can't tell if it looks any different. Anyway, let's go speak to some people about a horse. Oh, it's the hospital. What if they need any help? Oh god. Oh my god, is he about to amputate his leg? Is he actually going to do that if I just wait here? I really hope not. 
Don't mind me, I'm just gathering mushrooms while you lose your leg. Holy shit, his... His foot is completely broken, isn't it? Oh my god. Doesn't seem to care about me. I guess I can't help. Nordling. <laughs> he sounded very calm, given that he was screaming a second ago. Hey. I love the vertical movement in this game, just grappling on the ledges and stuff. Such a refreshing change from The Witcher 2. And The Witcher 1. I mean, The Witcher 1 was super, super limited in where you could go, and The Witcher 2 was a slight, slightly less limited, but still very limited. I'm pretty sure you still couldn't jump in The Witcher 2. God's preserve you. There's gotta be secrets around here. Putrid. You seem happy. Well, um, step away. Well, All right, that's enough fun for one day. Oh. <laughs> That surprise noise. We must requisition. Ooh, I can use this thing. Is that to sharpen my blade? That's not considered stealing, is it? Your items have been enhanced. Aw, I thought that'd be like a whole animation and stuff. Enhanced weapons, 14, 50... Like, four, oh, all right, so it lasts for 15 minutes, it looks like. In the top left of the screen. Okay, that sounds kind of like how it sort of worked in The Witcher 2. I remember you can get, uh, like, steel bars or something and use them and they would temporarily increase your damage. How much does that increase my damage, though? How do I... I want to mouse over that little thing that popped up. I don't think I can, though? Yeah, I don't really know how to, like, mouse over that little status effect and see how much damage it's actually giving me. Eh. I'll just take its word for it that it enhanced my weapons. Let's talk to the Nilf Guardian, or maybe the Quartermaster first. I'm assuming you sell arms and stuff. Password. Don't know any. So, out for a little walkie, eh? Counting the Emperor's swords to lull you to sleep? Well, in the army, we've a place for nosy ramblers. The scaffold. And thick skulled Quartermasters. They got a place. <laughs> uh, you're clearly skilled at banter. And haggling? You got a knack for that as well? Ah, right, you can craft stuff. Morale holding up around here? You boys think you can win this thing? Ah, a spy after all. Or one to stir trouble. Neither. Just curious. Right. Well, tell anyone who cares we will win this war, because Radovid is mad. As everyone knows, and we've an extraordinarily well-drilled and well-supplied army. Incidentally, did you wish to buy something? Not really. I'm kind of poor. What can you craft me, though? I'd like you to craft something for me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, I'll come back to this some year. So long. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. 
So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. <laughs> Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? Let me guess, the griffin? There is a griffin in mm -hmm. the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. The beast has killed ten already, including a few of my men. To hunt it, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a batu. Simply impossible. Too big a hassle? No. Too high a risk. I cannot disperse my forces. Demeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain, ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands, or hire a professional. He's worried about the common folk rising up against him. Hasn't he already killed enough of them that there's not enough of them to really make a dent in their army at this point? Given how many villages he's destroyed and people he's hanged? For being rebels? And of course, being a rebel probably just means having a Temerian, like, coat of arms or symbol in your house. <sighs> but anyway, guess I'll make a deal with uh, the devil, so to speak. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Hmm. Is this a choose one or the other kind of thing? Well, I know witchers drink specific potions before a fight. Ones to increase various abilities, or coat their swords in particular things that are particularly good against certain types of enemies, so I'm going to go with gather a specific herb. I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm hmm Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Oh. Well, looks like I can do both. Need more information about this griffin. It's sex. Why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. Tamira and Mislov. Thanks. Es sun die I so want to loot this chest and see what's inside of it. I don't think he'd be too happy, though. Let's not do it. Excuse me. 
excuse me. There's a f oh my god, you just came into existence. Hi. I forgot this game has a fast travel system. Is there anywhere I can actually travel to right now, though? Barely been anywhere. Hmm. Well, I guess I can travel around a little bit. But for now, I'm just gonna go on my own horse. Let's go, Roach. Alright, which place should I go to first? They're all down here, because I'll go to this one first. Can I... can I track it? No? It's not how you do it? You don't just click it? Okay, whatever. Let's go! Oh god. I'm going through here. Oh, there's still gonna be drowners in here. Faster. In fact, I think I just saw some. In fact... Oh, yep, there they are. They show up on the minimap. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna be terrible at combat. Oh, um, I should probably meditate first. Let's get my health back. Just meditate for an hour. 5 p.m. There we go. Health is back. Sun's going down. Damn, that lighting is beautiful. Alright, let's get my Quen out, let's get my Silver Sword out. Let's go hunting. Come on, drownies. Seems like I can't block their blows. I tried to do that, but it just stunned me, and I think I took some damage. So dodging seems to be the way to go. Alright, that went, um... Pretty horribly. <laughs> Lost half my health, again, just fighting two enemies. Uh, I'm gonna eat my roasted chicken. I can even eat the wolf's liver. Mm. Oh, poor guy. Oh god. Okay, not bad. It's certainly way, way easier to fight a single enemy than multiple enemies, because you can really focus your dodges and stuff. Black magic doll. Other common items. Is that like a quest item? Hold on, where is that? How in the heck do I use this menu? Ah, there we go. Can be sold to merchants or dismantled into crafting components. Oh, it's just junk. God, this game is so good looking. I could just cry. Oh, I don't even want to move. I just want to stare at everything. Man, I really wish this wasn't so hitchy for you. I really want to fix that. I really, really, really want to fix that. <clears throat> How's it going? I'm a loyal Nilfgaardian... witcher. Eh, I'm getting out of here.
Can I get on top of this thing? Oh, yeah. Hear my call, drowners of the swamps. It's a very quiet call. I need to use more magic abilities than just Quen. Oh, hi. Damn, you're ugly. Oh god. Oh god, there's three. Oh god, there's four. Damn it. I'm getting the hell out of here. I can't handle this. I really need to use some other abilities. What should I use? Ard? That'll push them. Uh, Igni, that just does plain damage. I don't know what they're susceptible to. Uh, let's try Igni. That barely did anything. Can't take a group of three. There's no way. Not with my amount of health. Let's try Ard. Okay, okay, not bad. One more. Ooh, alright. God, those things are so creepy. Look at their eyes. Well, so far, the combat system in this game seems pretty freaking satisfying. It's, uh, there's a lot to get used to, a lot of controls. And I'm still really far from being comfortable with it, but it seems pretty nice. It's pretty damn satisfying when you do a nice dodge and then, you know, start whacking out their back and stuff. I should probably save. I wonder if F5 does a quick save. Kind of save your game right now. Oh, there we go. I just had to wait. Yeah, so F5 is a quick save. Sweet. Wandering into the swamps is, of course, completely what I was supposed to be doing. Eh, it's an open world game. Whatever. Alright, how, how am I doing on XP, by the way? Level 1, 700 out of 1,000. Okay, 300 more and I'll level up. I haven't even leveled up once. Oh, oh my god, look at that lighting. Wow, just... Let's just stop for like five seconds. Look at that. Mmm. I'm gonna meditate again. I think I saw you in a video showing off this game. What happened? Monsters, monsters from the swamp. Folks said the road was fraught with peril, but I wouldn't listen. Got my comeuppance now. Less moaning, more details. 
What happened? And how can I help? And remember, I don't work for free. Witcher's code and all. Well, was on my way to the Black Ones to trade. Suddenly my horse got spooked, ran clear off the road. We hit a bump, I went flying and the horse and cart rolled on. Then I heard bubbling, neighing, slurping. Something came out from the muck. Devoured Asher, hooves and all. No doubt my goods are still on the cart, but I'm too afeard to go and see. Thought maybe you? I'm most concerned about a little box. Bring it to me, I beg you. Fine, I'll go. Let you know if I find that box. Okay, well, just came from there. Let's go back. <laughs> the way should already be cleared. Find the little box the merchant mentioned using your Witcher senses. Okay. Cart tracks. Rode off into the swamp. More drowners? Is that what those are? I think so. Ooh, what is this? Is that bees? Can I burn them by chance? Okay, now I kind of feel like an asshole. I don't really know why I did that. I was just curious if it would do anything. Uh, it did. I murdered a bunch of harmless... Well, not harmless, but a bunch of innocent insects. Uh, I don't feel too good about that. Alright. Let's go, Drowners. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Here's the cart. Four of them. Try to examine this before they come after me. Ooh. Looks like that was some nice ore. It was master tier. That horse got killed by an arrow. I thought it was drowners that did this. Drowners don't shoot arrows. Riddled with arrows. Interesting. I should take a look around. An arrow. Didn't mention this. Square in the neck. Good shot. Either the merchant's got serious memory problems, or he's lying. Sure as hell was not Drowners that did this. Alright. I think I'm getting better at this. Where'd the other ones go? There's two more. There's one. Mm, just the one. How am I doing on XP? 713 out of a thousand. Man, XP is hard to get. 
I wonder how much the quest will give me. Hello. There you are. Alright, I was trying to block that. That didn't work. Where are you going? Come back. I thought there was another one, but it seems like that's it. Another random poor sod killed in the... Oh. New marker guarded treasure. Hmm? Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's some weird noxious fume around that. I don't know if I want to touch it. Let's put on my shield. Oh, get out, get out! That guy's like inside of the horse's stomach. <coughs> Starting to get dark. I don't want to be in the swamps in the dark. Ooh. Ooh. I think I might have a torch. <gasps> can I use a torch through the swamp? Oh my god, if I can use this on my horse, the lighting is going to look so sexy. Uh, I don't know how to use it. It's in my pockets. What does that mean? I don't know how to use it. How do I use pocket items? Is it here? No, it's not here. I don't know how to use it. I don't know how to use pocket items. Is it this? No, that's not that. I was pressing the key to use bombs, which I don't have at the moment. Oh wait, I still don't have the little box. Slow now. More drowners. Come on now. Get back here. Yeah, I just assumed that I found the box because I examined everything. Oh, there it is. Locked strong box. Must be that box he mentioned. Splattered with blood. Human blood. Eh, yeah, I don't want to fight them. I'm getting out of here. I really do wish I knew how to use that torch. You find the box? Yeah, found your priceless chest. And someone who looks an awful lot like a cart driver with an arrow through his neck. No dryads in these swamps, and never known a drowner or a water hack to use a bow. So lacking any other suspects, I'm guessing. Watch out! Behind you! <laughs> There's nothing behind me. I'm a witcher, I'd have heard it. Just like I can hear your heart, which is pounding, like a liar's. Best hope you're a better writer than you are a liar. You fool. Like he's going to be able to outrun a witcher, come on. If I remember right from the video that I saw of this whole little section, I think I need to chase him on my horse, right? Yep, here we go. Come on, Roach.
think I need to chop him down. I don't really know how to do horse combat. Oh my god, how am I gonna hit him? There we go. <laughs> okay, that was awkward. <laughs> Didn't even make a noise. Slow now. Whoa. I just like bopped him in the back of the... just in his back. Gotta get him out of here. I didn't kill him, did I? I didn't Wake see Wake up. See? Can't run from the truth. Not even on a horseback. Now who are you, and why'd you attack that cart? Private First Class John Gamer. Temerian 6th Division, 2nd Regiment. Disbanded, but still active. Underground, in the woods. That was a medical transport. I'd be damned if it reached the Black Ones. And the medicine. Our lads could use it too. We've many ill among us. You let me go, and they might live and fight once more for a free north. Oh, Jesus. Okay, this is one of those decisions where the Witcher games have always emphasized hard decisions where there's no clear-cut right or wrong answer and things that have more effect than just on what's going to happen right now. This decision could honestly have absolutely massive cascading effects on what happens in the rest of the game, so I shouldn't take these sorts of decisions lightly. Do I like the Nilfgaardians? Do I want to help them? No. Do I like the Temerians? Do I want to help them? N no. I don't really have any particular reason to think one is one group is better than the other. But I know I'm not going to keep the medicine with me because that's just plain selfish. Hmm. I'm gonna let him go. Right, he's like, uh... <laughs> he's like Rob Stark trying to take back the North. Sure, you can go. Fine, go. And may you and your soldier buddies hiding in the bushes be victorious in your struggle against Nilfgaard. You have a vile sense of humor. But you're a decent man. Here, the gold I promised. Use it well. Drink to the silver lilies and to Faltes memory. Okay, kind of just teleported there for some reason. How am I doing on XP? 730 out of a thousand. Oh my god. That's nothing. Faster. Goodbye, good sir. Bah. This is off the beaten path. Is this the guy who was attacked who lives in a hut, or...? Yeah, this can't be the crossroads, right? No, it's gotta be the guy. The weird guy. Looks like he might be a trapper? Perhaps? Weird hunter dude in the woods? Cabin in the woods? Anyone home? Must be out hunting. Use your witcher senses to find the hunter. Or I could lockpick the door. Actually, I don't think I don't think the game has lockpicking, does it? No, it doesn't. Key required. Can follow his tracks. Trails fresh. His love just left home. I'm curious, if I look around the back, could I maybe find the key or something? Like under a a false rock? Ooh, I could totally fit inside of that window. Come on. Come on, Geralt. 
Lame. What the? What did you just try to do? Can I actually get on top of this thing? No. There you are. You, Ms. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. There's no way wild dogs are more dangerous than wolves. Dogs more dangerous than wolves? Don't think so. It's the truth. Know why? No, but I guess you're about to tell me. Wolves hunt to fill their bellies. Wild dogs kill for sport. Just like humans. Right. <laughs> They've learned much from us. Why not cruelty too? Indeed. I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilf Guardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm -hmm. I'll show you, sure. But uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Sure. Sure. Griffin's not going anywhere. No. Dogs might, though. So step careful now. Come on. These dogs been a problem for a while now? Since the war started. Soldier on the march, he'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt, guts stuck to their spines, covered in scabies. But they just won't die, because they're clever. More so than foxes. And they hate men something fierce. Too late. Attacked another one. Those dogs are nasty looking. Look at them. They look horribly diseased. Ah, oh Christ, they did actually kill that guy. They freaking ripped off his arms and legs. Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's Hunter. But that was before... Well, a long time ago. Before what? Before they drove me from the village. What did you do? Nothing. I'm a freak. Sorry. I'd rather not talk about it. I'm a freak too. Aye. But of another kind. If it's lycanthropy, I can help. What? Lycanthropy. Werewolves. Handled a few cases in the past. It's usually a simple curse that... The Lord's son, Florian, and I... We loved each other. Aww. Dieter walked in on us in the stables. They drove me away. 
Florian hanged himself. Oh. Lord started drinking, and the estate fell into ruin. That's the long and short of it. That started out kind of romantic, but it didn't end romantic. I'm sorry. Uh, ancient history now. I was to show you where I found the Nilf Guardians. Come. Griffin, know anything about it? Not much. It's not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No griffin can hear me nor spy me. Alright, so it looks like I just leveled up. Unfortunately, though, I don't know how to spend my skill points. Um, let's So let's see what's going on with that. How do you level up? I guess it's... Yeah, so it's this stuff. Okay, I'm going to cut here, and I'm going to take a look at how this works, and I will be right back. Okay, so it looks like there's various different categories of places to spend my skill points in. We've got combat here, or melee combat, rather. Magic science here. Crafting here. General. And then mutagens, which is something that I can't do anything with at the moment. Unfortunately... None of these really look amazing in terms of what they do. For the most part, they seem to be basic, just, you know, like, 5% more damage, you know, regenerate this 10% faster. Just fairly basic kind of stat increases. So none of these exactly inspire my, uh, my, my interest. Maybe Exploding Quen Shield would be nice, because that's the ability that I keep using. It makes it so it pushes enemies back when it breaks, which would be pretty nice. But I think the one that looks the best to me is actually this one, Survival Instinct. Increases maximum vitality by 500. If you look at the bottom right of the screen, my current vitality is 3,600. So increasing it by 500 is actually a pretty beefy increase. So I'm going to go with that. Or am I? Oh, I'd have to press E. I can't just double click it. There we go. All right. Cool. So, that... Did that do it? I mean, my vitality seems the same as it was before. It's still 3600. Shouldn't I go up? Do I have to, like, close and then open it back? No, it's still 3600. I don't understand. Oh, you have to put it in a slot. Oh. Oh, okay. That makes sense. By the way, there probably would have been a tutorial prompt when I leveled up, but since I disabled them, they don't pop up anymore. So it's not the game's fault that I was confused. It's my fault for turning the tutorial prompts off, which I should probably actually change. Let's do that. On-screen tutorials, on. So it doesn't spam me with them. But hopefully if anything new happens, like... Leveling up for the first time, the tutorials will pop up. Okay. Um. Why am I following you? Do I actually need to follow you anymore? Oh yeah, follow the hunter. Come yeah, on, let's go. was here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to... Watch out for yourself now. Ooh. I can be very political here. Nothing to mourn they were Nilfgaardians. Nah, 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 nah. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last, either. Hope you're right. Good hunting, now. Grounds black, saturated with blood. 
Nelthgardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Getting drunk around the campfire. Rudely interrupted. A camp. are older and deeper, heavily armored. Elf guardians, probably. Looks like I need to follow the tracks. Is there an enemy down here? What? What am I hearing? There's stuff around here. I hear them, but I can't see them. What are they? Hmm. That makes me uneasy. They sound like dogs. Ooh, there's stuff down here. Repair kit, some money. Jumping over large gaps, hold space, yep, gotcha. Griffin's nest. What remains of it at least? Is that a dead griffin? Corpse is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. worth. So they managed to kill one of the griffins. Female. Larvae and her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Other griffin must be a male. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. So then it sounds like the male is enraged because his lifelong partner was killed. Thick shaft, dense barbs. A royal griffin. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Preparing for combat, alright, this is the tutorial thing. Blacksmith's forge weapons, armors craft armor, uh huh. Alright, I, I think it's basically warning me that if I'm going to battle something strong, such as a griffin, I might want to try some side quests before attacking. Oh, there's a book here. A longsword. Take a look at that in a second. These griffins really are beautiful creatures. Terrifying, but beautiful. Burned. Only 
way a human could do this. What's that sound? Is that a place of power? Place of power. Should draw from it. Oh, damn. That gives me an ability point. And increases the intensity for 30 minutes, it looks like. I didn't know that'd give me an ability point. That is sweet. Alright. Let's see what we can spend it on. I shouldn't focus too much on general stuff, I think. So let's go for something else. Let's let's do the Quen. The one that allows the shield to push people back when it breaks. Yeah, it looks like next level it pushes them back and deals damage when it breaks. Which is pretty cool. Also, looks like I'm going to run out of slots really quickly. Unlocked at level 4. Hmm. Oh, so that's to encourage you not to diffuse your skills into too many different things. They want you to keep leveling up and, you know, max out one of these things. Okay. Well, in that case, I might have made a mistake by going with these two things. Because <laughs> I don't get the next one until level 4, and I'm only level 2. Looks like it's every two levels. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, yeah. And looks like these are mutagen slots. Hm. Alright, well, before this episode becomes too long, I think I better end it here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return I'm going to go ask the herbalist about the buckthorn.